are you here, Jay, this evening? Can you just touch one of those key to me? Jay, or better yet, play with somebody's hair like you've done before in the own house with some of us. If anybody feels that your hair to caress or something like that. I sense I'm here. Jay Sebring is here. The spirit, the spirit is here. Show us that you're here. Maybe you just want to scan them. Or they came to me, like you just did. Anybody has a question for Jay Sebring? The spirit is here. Why haven't you moved on? Jay, are you still here? He says, what are you talking about? Why aren't you in heaven? Or in a greater plane, why are you at this place? Why are you manifesting with us right now? Why do you want to contact complete strangers? Because of the empathy that you, most of you feel for the people that were involved in this. You saw many of you, not all of us here, but have connected with the the event, and that's why you you were called here, not just because of the paranormal. Who's that? Who's who? There's several people here. I, I sense you know I quite a, a bit. I have a question for J.C. Ray. Well, I don't know. You know, it's not, it's not like you can answer, but you know, this is a reaction. What what did Sharon Tate find behind the wallpaper? Message. It was a, a she, message. she had a dream that she was looking for a bar or something to drink, and she tore wallpaper out and found the bar, the, it was a hidden bar, and it was actually, when she woke up, it was actually true. It was, it was wallpaper on the floor or something, maybe like she was sleepwalking and found it. It was at a different house, it wasn't at this house. No, it was at Jay's, and that's when she saw a premonition of her own death. Yeah. We come back. Your uncle, the spirit of your uncle will come back. Don't go. If you would like to come back, I can, I can see him. He's standing there waiting. It's like waiting for his turn. You can leave, but I can tell you how he looks like because I see him right there. I think she's gone. I think she's gone, but I can, I can see yeah, she him. Left. What does he look like? His curly dark hair and he wore glasses. And his skin was pale, kind of pale, not very dark. Does he have a message for her? Definitely. But we, but see, it's not my choice. It's not my choice. If the spirits come here and they give me a message, I can I don't have control over this. If I did, I would be asking for it a lot. Okay, um, the victims, some of the spirit coming through, is it, um, oh, Falter. Abigail? Yes, Falter. She, she came through yesterday, and she's a very, um, bossy lady who had a very strong will personality. And because she came through yesterday, I, I'm asking her, are you here with us tonight? Can you light up one of the skate meters if you're here? Thank you. And, and uh, maybe the audience or somebody will have a question or a statement they want to tell you. I personally want to tell you that I am 
So I'm very, very thankful that you were, we made a connection yesterday and you share that you are going to be the godmother for Sharon's baby. And it was just unfortunate. Did, did you almost escape Abigail? Did you have a chance? Do you feel like you had a chance? Did they give you a chance? Did you try your best to get away from them? Was it all a surprise? I thought she was the farthest out from the house. Uh, she ran out of the house, and they, I think they finally got her on the, on the lawn. They did. That's when they, she begged them to don't stab her anymore. She's already dead. Mm -hmm. They did it anyway. You see the key to me? Did you see that? Yeah, I keep talking to keep Abigail? I want you to know that I, we all know that you tried your very best to fight them off. You all did. It's always so important um, to acknowledge that those who are here and you're not partaking in this and you're just sitting back, it's okay, but it's important that you acknowledge the spirits because they're telling me they want everyone here to try to engage with them and to ask them the questions, not just think it, but to say it. Because I'm hearing a lot of thoughts going through your mind but that you do want to say, but you, you're afraid or you're bashful. I don't know what the deal is, but that's what the sense is. It's, it's, a, it's a meeting, it's a group, so we can all engage in this. So don't, please don't feel bad. Chime in if you, if you have a thought or idea or a question for the spirits, okay? Thank you. Sharon here. Stephen Parent? Yes, Stephen Parent. It's, it's, it's coming through. Oh my gosh, he cried like a baby when he was, I could hear him. He was just so desperate. He just, he begged. Stephen, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I'm seeing how this happened. And, I want you to acknowledge this by lighting the key tomatoes for us again. And if somebody has a message or a thought for him, because his spirit is still not at peace. It's like, he was a kid, so I was a kid. I'm sorry I was here. You were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But all these people, all these people that did this to you, they're in jail. And each and every single time that paroles come around, they've been denied for that reason, for what they did to you, Sharon, Ab Abigail, JC, Rosemary, everybody. He says, my, my parents, my parents. He's he, they probably didn't even know he was here that night. He came without permission. Susan Atkins' spirit was attacking Mabel and I out there. And if you're trying to come through right now, I want to tell you right now, you're not welcome in this session. You know, I want you to leave. You're not welcome here. Does anybody feel anything in particular right now? Like a pressure in your sinuses or a mild headache? in my temples. This is trying to come through a for time.
Steven's still there, or somebody else coming through. behind. Do you want to call somebody? A friend, maybe? A spirit of a friend? Mm -hmm. It's too tough. Not easy to talk about it. Are you here with us? Please let me see you. Here's a, if this spirit somehow is very, I think his personality was very protective of his family, but not very. Like it was just a family, but not that he wasn't friendly, I'm not saying that, but he he just wasn't that type of a person who would just go out of his way to mingle or socialize with others because he believed in the family unit and he he wants that this family to be together and to have union and ever since he's left he's this family just keeps on, rather than being united, it's, it's the opposite. Sure, it, it says, They, they just take care of each other. Just so hard with the spirit to come forward and give me information. Um, I'm, I don't know if this is being bashful about it, but I'm, I'm sensing something with his upper body. It could be the heart, it could be his lungs. Um, he, he, he did smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it is. 
says, please don't do it. Please don't do it. I don't know what he's referring to, but he's got tears in his eyes. It's It's, it was so hard for this spirit to come through a scene finally. Very sweet man with his own family. With his own family. You know, kind of grandpa we all wish we had. We want you to rest in peace. And to be assured that your recommendation is being heard. They are taking note of what I said. And he's shaking his head and says, please, tell them. Don't do it. Is Sharon still there? We can call her. Her spirit is still over this house. It's like this place is like <coughs> but the bodies are like the morning, like you see them. That's energy. They were called energy that I was feeling um, when I first walked in here. It's like I saw the bodies just laying there. I think uh, any time that they like to communicate with us tonight, there they will. You can feel free because most of us who are here um, respect their spirit and respect the fact that in the awful manner they left. Sharon, on Tuesday, David told me that you told him to tell me about the acting industry and gave me some great advice. Was that really you speaking through him? if something is touching or making pressure against your skin, your legs or your arms, like somebody sucked it on your back to you. My throat. Your throat? Mm-hmm. Like a slow like a slow throat, I feel also and the pressure like that. 
But anything else besides that? Maybe in your legs or your arms? Well, I feel like, I don't know, like a, like a strong grip. Not a, like a grip, not a rope, because that would, that would be a burning <coughs> sensation. The struggle. Was it soft? Yeah, it's soft. <coughs> but rougher. A man's hand. Palace. It was like. Or her hand. Is there something that you want to tell us? here, Jim, if, if Jim was okay. Spirit of Jim. Hey, be quiet down there.
kindness. Jim, um, Kate, I, I see him, I, he, I see his image a little bit blurry. This happened a long time ago, you said, right? With, the, with his, um, I, yes, with his accident, it happened a long time ago. Yes, but um, uh, he, I hear the word blame. And there was a time where he was blamed with, with something that he did not do that. And that, that you know of, of him not doing this, but he was blamed for something. He was accused wrongfully of doing something, but it wasn't him or he did not harm any, anybody or anything. But he, Jim, are you saying she knows? Jim, come back. Um, I'm getting him, um, he had, his personality was very subtle, like he wasn't very assertive, but when he wanted to be assertive, he would just, will leave people like, where did that come from? Yeah. And then, so I see him right now manifesting in a way that he comes and he's like, I'm out. And he wants to check out. He's trying to say something and he's not being understood. And he, he sensed that and he's like, I'm out. So I'm asking him, don't leave. What? And uh, maybe do you want to be more specific and ask him a question? I just want him to know I, I miss him. I miss him. I miss the laughter. We had a really funny sense of humor and we used to tease each other. We worked together. I just want him to know I miss his sense of humor. Every day. And his death was a, a little bit of a shock because he went in the middle of the night. Well, he, he says thank you, thank you, but he also, I see also that he had a, a chronic condition, and uh, though it was a surprise, it wasn't. Yeah, that's, that makes sense, because he, he told me that, he was in a wheelchair, and he told me his spine was, something was disintegrating his spine, and that, I hear deteriorating. Yes. Okay, so he, he, he knew, um, that any time he was going to be home, and he was. And he's, I want to say, Jim, um, rest, rest in peace. Thank and, you. And we thank you for your message. He misses you too. Mm -hmm. And he misses also, oh my gosh, I'm getting this headache. Uh, because he's, this, the energy from the spirits is just draining the heck out of me, but for him, he had a niece, he, he had a niece, he really cared for it, he used to say a message for her, um, he will forever love her and look after her, mm -hmm. what that means, if you, I don't know if you have, if you know of this person or the family, you can find out, yeah. Light, something should make the light up. That's David with his spot, big spotlight. Oh, was it? Was it really? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, I know, I was talking about the candle, but he has a giant spotlight. Like, he's trying to put the cars and stuff. <laughs> 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 it's bright. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Often they want to hear specifics. So what is a specific thing that you want to say, or a concern, or a uh, thought that you may have? And then, of course, it will manifest through the cake meter, or I will get a, a random information message like I've been getting. So we say we want Sharon to come to the table. Um, we would say, I think I have a feeling that the spirits can, the word time, it's like they get a time to be here, like a turn in there, but like, you know, they need to go back. Or Wait, their time was short on here. here. Could have been. Is there anybody here from that night that would like to talk with us? That's happened since then. Curtain fell, fell down. I don't know if that's significant. That's what that sound was. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes but it's not like yes. Yeah. Are you okay with us being here? Being in your space? Somebody, I already went and talked to them, and they said they were drinking before they got here. Are they downstairs? No, yes, they're in the bedroom. They need to go, they need to leave the house. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. Because, you know, you need to be respectful of the spirits, and that's bottom line. But but I, I don't think it was insignificant that this. No, I heard it rip. Oh, that thing fell? Yeah. Like it was literally yes, rip. Yes, just yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but they're not happy. They're upset that somebody's being disrespectful. Disrespectful to them because it's very sacred. I think that this is an honor that they come here and give us respect. Absolutely. And people just treat it like it's a circus. I don't agree with it. Absolutely. I agree with you. Kick your ass out. Yeah, dude. That's car. They're like walking around for a mile. No. That's okay with everybody. We'll call you tonight because we would like to hear about something somebody's curious in this room about. And we're hoping that you can contact us and manifest through a Kate meter or light or obelisk. Anyone here would like to ask a specific question so that the spirit can focus and answer that to us tonight? Or spirit of Sharon Tane? Anyone? 
Is everyone here from that night? I am so sorry that happened to you, but is everyone from that night, are they all still here? That's a very good question because it's what I sense in this house. All the spirits here. Are they all still here? Jay had a great sense of humor. Is that true? Do you come here like... Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that too. What was it? It was, it was like a thump thump. Yeah, it was like right above us. It, it was right above us on the yeah. roof. Do you take turns to be here and manifest? Or you, are your spirits here now? And, and maybe you'll be gone in what's up. That is, is that what you mean? Like if people call you, then you, you show up? Are you, do you feel you're more, spend more time at David's house versus this house? Is Debbie Constantine on her eyes? Debbie. Yeah. That's right. Good question. Because they're wondering maybe I heard Debbie, so I'm wondering if that's what that was meant. I know you'd be interested in investigating this part of the house. Where's the ramp pod? We don't have one. Why? I, that's not my room. Last place I saw it, I think it was in the theater room. Yeah, it's right. the theater. It should be here. I'm, gonna get that. I'm not much of a fan of audio, but it blows. Do you have one? I think dead in that ramp pod, just so you know. Seriously? They yeah. just put the new one in? Yeah. The set was supposed to be in this evening. Not last night, but the new one this evening. I think it's dead. I'll put a new one in. How's this house? Besides hot as hell, you guys turned the air conditioning off, she said. Cold. You're kidding me. You're cold? I've been cold. getting chills, yeah. You guys are cold. It's been cold in here. Yeah. What the fuck is with you people? It's a fucking 95 <laughs> degrees in here. I'm fucking baking and turning into a lobster right running now. running back and forth as you're out. I have my first time in this house. How could I run back and forth if I haven't so been back in this house once? Do you want me to move my backpack? Or? You can sit in the corner. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. By the way, again, false positives from the outside window, she said, of, of echoes and voices from the neighbors. Well, she said that's what you're hearing as well. You're getting voices from out here because I heard them on the street. Can you, flash you see them with your spotlight? 
Yeah. Lilia. Oh, oh droll, said your droll. They caught the front door Funny. open here uh, on tape, on the, you know, because they, they have cameras here. As the other yeah, killer was walking by, by the happened. door, the door opened, on the street, the door opened on its own. This door? Yeah, the front door. I was walking up because, uh, the, one of the little girls, Mary, of oh, the God, the fuck, I'm sorry, you guys. That is a T-O-Y toy. Your guys are... Mm, I know Adam loves that thing. I buy it as a, the knockoff pile of crap. No offense. Hi. <laughs> Blow me. Respond to that, spirits, if you're really here. Come on. Are you pissed off I'm in this house, spirits? Give me an answer now. Let them get mad at me. I could give a flying fuck. <laughs> they don't bother me. They don't intimidate me. And if anything, they can kiss my sorry ass if they're actually using that thing to communicate. Disaster. What did it say? Disaster? <laughs> walking disaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, close. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, good luck. If you want to play toy games, play toy games. Seriously. Say, say poltergeist agent. Yeah, say mm. poltergeist agent. Say Zach Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> These Mickey Mouse toys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not a fan of them because I don't buy them because the spirit's like, what are you fucking kidding me? Tinker toys we're playing with? If we want to speak, those microphones are more than capable of speaking. And secondly, they'll speak and you can hear them clear as a bell, not nom, nom, nom. Okay, master batter. <laughs> Lily, uh, she says, why aren't you doing a traditional seance with everybody around a table over there playing it the old fashioned way? She goes, this is not doing it. It's working out for us. She goes, the gosh on toy is a toy is a toy is a toy. She goes, you well, know how I feel about that. It's working out for most of us here, and more people can fit like this versus that table. Only fits five people. If it's eight people. If there's eight people at the table, okay. I can get a table together. Raise your hand those who want to go to a crowded table. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you know Lilia? <laughs> no, I don't know. No, you don't, because Sharon says you're not found what she's asked to be done. She says, I like the usual table. Does that thank you? No, the table. When she's sitting at a table, like Alan was doing over there at the other house, it's more energy concentrated. And as people are around outside, you're putting it this way. She says it's like this fragmented. Well, I think we're all sitting around a table. You're not touching hands. You're not making a human and connection in a chain. That's what the whole thing is. Is everybody's concentrating and focused on a table in a circle? It's kind of like hands. the engine's moving towards this focus point. Well, have we made connection tonight, guys? Yes. yes. It's all about so. hands. Ready? It's pretty accurate. It's all about hands. She says, fine, 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 fine. Sharon says, if, as long as you want to do this, but at a certain point it's going to crap out and we're going to go to other Just things. Because other people want to come in here as well and investigate. And I wanted to do a traditional seances, traditional as it has been every time we've ever done it in my house, at a table, everybody holding hands as you have done before. She goes, why have you absconded that? You never had a problem at the house. You've always gotten great response, the REM pod and the candles. She goes, the toy is the toy is the toy. If you want to play games with the toy, she says, fine, but you're blowing it. There's more things besides playing with the Tinker toy and there's a scanner that's picking up anomalous words. I'm sorry. I know what I've done and what I've done in three years. She goes, this is an absconsion of the facts of what we have done that have worked traditionally. You want to play this? Go right ahead. She goes, but behind me with that table is where she wanted it to be. And that's where she asked me to put it when I set it up two days ago, before you got here, when I was doing it. Okay, we can try and pick up some table. <laughs> and she says, turn off the fucking Tinker toy. She goes, I think those are jack-off Mickey Mouse masturbator toys. I'm going to tell you right now, those Tinker toys are blocking her. She goes, she goes, if you want me to communicate, she goes, we don't need all the Tinker toys. She goes, I want a candle and a REM pod and a K2 meter like you've done. What? Okay, then we can... Try it, she says. She goes, you've done this now for, for an hour, she says. She goes, try the old-fashioned style. You might get actual responses with physical manifestations. And don't use our candles, she said. The long taper candles, which we always use. She goes, not the thick ones. She goes, she can make the candles move differently when it's a long tapered candle. She goes, she's like saying, why are we doing this? This isn't the way we've done it at your house. She says, I want 
what I've done before. The holding hands, everybody focusing and bringing it into one point in reference. He goes, I've been watching this on video for an hour now, and I'm asking Flake, he goes, well, we're getting stuff, but he goes, I'd like to see the other type of tradition. I said, the stance. He goes, yeah. And that's what you're missing, Sharon said. She says, you know, try that. You might actually find something. No toys. <laughs> voices. You're going to hear footsteps. You're not going to be discount, dis discounting listening to a, the echo box. You're paying attention to the, to, the, to the machine. Not to the energies that are here, she said. And she's kind of upset with her. She said, try this. It'll work. And I just, I 